Y'all, please don't come for me. I already know it looks weird when I don't wear eyeshadow, eyeliner or something like that. Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel, you gorgeous people out there. If you have never seen my face before, hi, I'm Becky. It's nice to meet you and I hope you'll stick around for a while and enjoy my video. Recently, I saw this incredible makeup look by Abby Roberts and I really wanted to recreate it ever since I saw it a few weeks ago. So I thought, why not right now, since I haven't done a makeup related video in such a long time. I am already starting with my base, foundation, eyebrows and lipstick because I think those are really boring. As well as Abby doesn't really do anything with her eyebrows in the video. I can't do that because I don't really have eyebrows. <laughs> Since she already has such thick natural eyebrows, I tried to keep my eyebrows as natural as possible as well. I didn't make them too dark. I know she has really dark eyebrows, but I just don't. So I tried to keep them natural, matching my hair color and everything. I hope you all are gonna enjoy me recreating Abby Roberts' butterfly look. Obviously, first of all, I'm going to have to remove the hair out of my face. Recreating Abby Roberts' butterfly look is also kind of going to be a challenge for me because I, first of all, have really badly hooded eyes. Like, I can't even get a straight eyeliner. It's really, really hard with my eyes. I promise you all, I'm not making this up. It is really hard. If you don't believe me, I have a super short, I think like two or three minute video on how I do my eyeliner. It is really hard. It is confusing with uh, those wrinkles here and everything. Thing, the creases so it is gonna be hard to try and draw on butterfly wings on there with eyeliner that is the first reason and second she does freckles in the video and I have never tried any freckles on my face I always loved freckles I always wanted to try it but I, I don't know I just never got to so we're gonna see how that works and <laughs> I don't know first of all I'm going to try and start with the eyeshadow for that I obviously am going to have to put a lot of powder on my face so I don't get a lot of fallout that wouldn't be too nice if I would ruin my base I would have to start over <laughs> I just bought this Rival de Loup mineral powder um, recently I haven't really tried it yet and uh, I don't know it was just the only thing I could find the only loose powder I found in the drugstore but just in case you're wondering what I'm using that's that if you want to know how I do my foundation and my base then let me know I just really thought I would spare you this time I didn't want to make the video too long and too boring so let me know if you like it better this way or if next time you would like me to do the entire makeup look from scratch I snatched my mom's phone because I'm recording with my phone so I can't really look at the reference pictures on my phone <laughs> while I record so that's kind of an issue but I have the nicest mom ever so she didn't have any issues with that. Abby has this gold glitter shade in the center of the eye and this light green shade in the outer corner. It doesn't really look like she's doing anything else. It looks like she just has two shades on her eye and I think this would be perfectly easy to achieve achieve with the Blood Money palette by Jeffree Star. There is a super nice gold glitter shade in here which is called CEO as well as a light green shade. So I hope these two will match the look. She does drag it far up close to the eyebrow. Since she didn't quite explain anything she did because it was just like a short video in Instagram, I'm just going to have to improvise but I hope that's good enough. And then we have this green shade. I'm not quite sure if I should use Poison Ivy for the green shade or Chameleon Fetish. I'm mm, still debating on which one to use. Well, let me swatch. This one is gonna be Poison Ivy, which is more like a transparent shade, but it does match the color Abby uses in this. And this is Chameleon Fetish. I think I might use both. I'm going to use Chameleon Fetish on the bottom 
and top it off with poison ivy, maybe that works. I hope. <laughs> I mean, who knows? <laughs> A wet chameleon fetish, it's actually pretty close to Abby's shade. Okay, she does the exact same on the bottom. She has gold in the center and green in the outer corner. In the outer corner, yeah. In the outer corner. <laughs> It looks to me as if she blend out the green like more down the bag of her eye on the outer corner. So I'm going to try that too. But it kind of already looks like butterflies. Yeah, I'm still going to top this off with poison ivy now as I said before. Because I am kind of missing a little bit more darkness in the green. Does this look like butterfly wings to you? I don't know. But I think that's basically everything she really did for eyeshadow. I, I really don't see anything else she did, so that's always the problem with those short videos. I don't quite get them to be honest. I know they're aesthetically pleasing, but they're like really hard to follow as a tutorial or anything. I can't really get into TikTok and everything because of that reason. Okay, now I'm going to take a black eyeliner and try this craziness of an eyeliner. Oh goodness, I don't know how to do this with my hooded eyes. Okay, I'm first going to try to just go for a, a normal winged eyeliner. She seems to be keeping it fairly low and dragging it really far here. struggle with the hooded eye again. I'm going to have to switch it up a little bit because otherwise it won't look like it. Now I'm going to try and start in the center here. Oh goodness, she goes down a lot. I'm gonna try to connect those lines. Oh goodness, struggle number one. But is it even a struggle? She does a line there, so it might not even be a struggle. Alright. Ignore the struggle for a second because it might actually work out. She does a whole black corner. Now she does two lines down to her crease. Now the problem is, as I said before, I have super hooded eyes. If I would drag them all the way down to my crease, I don't know if that would look that good. The other line is just a little bit next to it, but it goes a little bit more angled down. <laughs> right? Does it doesn't look like that somewhere? I would say it looks like it. And then she does like this cat eye vibe in the center. If 
if you don't already know who Abby Roberts is, which I definitely doubt because she is pretty popular, you should definitely go check her out on Instagram. She does have TikTok as far as I know and YouTube. She does have a YouTube channel too. She is an amazing makeup artist and she's so sweet too. Okay, now the bottom part. It's kind of like a flower what she did here. This is really hard with all my dry as wrinkly eczema traumatized skin down here. Did I do it? Did I do it? Please tell me I did it. I did it. <laughs> All right, that, that, is, that is as good as I can get. I'm going to try to copy this on the other eye now and make it somewhat similar off camera because, I mean, who wants to watch this whole thing twice? And then I'll be right back to you guys to put in some lashes and then we're gonna go ahead to try and do the skin part with the freckles and everything. I'm excited. See you in a second. Ta-da! The second eye is done. It is okay, I would say. It's not perfect. It's definitely not looking the same. Sisters, not twins, I guess. I don't know if it works with that, but I am okay with it. Like, I don't hate it so far. Right now, I am just going to put on some lashes real quick. Since I've had my dreadlocks, so many of my lashes have disappeared because I literally just drag them along with my dreadlocks. No matter where I move, whenever they lay on my makeup table or anything, they're just gone. They're, they just disappear in my dreadlocks and I never find them again. Sometimes when I'm at work, I see like lashes hanging in my dreads and I'm like, oh, there they are. <laughs> so <laughs> I think currently I just have this one pair that still matches. All the others are just random lashes that don't belong to the others. So I should definitely buy new lashes. And I really am craving big lashes too. But then, if I spend a lot of money on lashes, they're probably just gonna disappear in my dreadlocks again. <laughs> ah, that's one struggle of having dreadlocks. I usually don't have that many struggles with them, but this is definitely one of my worst. <laughs> So far, recreating Abby Roberts' butterfly look wasn't as hard as I would have imagined, but I, I'm really worried that I'm going to mess up the freckles. That would be a tragedy. But it is the first time, so don't come at me too bad, please. It looks like she put blush, but she actually didn't put it in the video. I am going to put some blush. She only puts like a light amount of blush right there and apparently also a little bit on the tip of her nose. That is everything I can see from just looking at it. She doesn't quite show that she puts blush, but she does show highlighter. And I'm debating whether to use this highlighter or this highlighter. They're both by Jeffree Star. The green one is Stripper Magic Extreme Frost and the white one is Sour Eyes Extreme Frost. Okay, Strooper Magic seems to be fitting a little better here. Now, just the freckles are left. And, uh, I'm putting it off so badly because I'm so scared of it. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay Brow Blade and I'm just going to try to like dip it in. It's like kind of running out, so it might be light enough. Oh my goodness, I don't know how to do freckles. Please don't do me like that. a little less. 
Uh, how do I make this less, less, less obvious? Why does it always look so good with people like her? Oh my goodness, now okay. I mean, is that really a question? Well, she's a famous makeup artist, so... So I don't have a gloss with me right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some lip balm. I'll like, I don't know, smear that on top. Isn't that believable? I find it very believable. Okay, let's open up my hair to see the real magic. Oh yes, bitch. I'm loving it. What do you all think? Let me know, please. love it tell me do you like it do you not like it what should I have done better I actually do love it so much I love experimenting with makeup like this and that was so much fun like I I barely ever do stuff like that so oh my gosh I want to do so much more maybe if you want send me tutorials like this send me short videos like this and I'm going to try to recreate it and make my own kind of look out of it I would love that I really did enjoy this one. I, I love trying out new things with makeup and I, oh, I really love it. I could see me wearing this at a festival or something. I think that looks so fancy. All right. I hope you all love it too. And look what I just found on my desk. There's a little butterfly. Anyhow, so that was me recreating Abby Roberts' butterfly look. I really enjoyed, as I've already mentioned like three or four times, <laughs> I really love it so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day and week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!